cakes right away. And I'll make this rose out of the turnip. Now you can use turnips, carrots, yams, beets, any hardcore vegetable. Two steps involved when you make the rose. Step number one is to make petals all the way around the outside. If your vegetables at room temperature, it's a lot easier to work with. Sometimes your cold vegetables are very brittle. Step number two, take that knife and just cut a ring out right behind those petals, just like you're peeling an apple. Take that section and just pop it out. So what you're doing is you're intersecting. Now the knife is very sharp and it's very flexible. It's very sharp. In between each petal, you make another row of petals. Same two steps over and over again. If you do this with a potato and it comes out real nice, you wrap it in aluminum foil and you bake it. If it doesn't come out so nice, that evening you have mashed potatoes. <laughs> no one will know you're practicing. After three weeks of mashed potatoes, they'll start to get suspicious. <laughs> but by then you should have it mastered. Now you can make these up a day ahead of time, put them in a bowl of water, leave them in a refrigerator, and the petals will actually open up a lot further. Now you can get real clever with that. You can take a sliver from a beet and just wipe it over the top. All right, now this is just a little bit of food coloring. You can put that on there. And girls, if you're going down on a kinky date, you wear it as a corsage. <laughs> Let me show you, I'm gonna show you how to make that apple bird, okay? And then we're gonna make, we'll make a swan out of the melon. Now the knife that I like to use to make the apple bird is a steak knife. York Steakhouse, Ponderosa, Rustlers, Sizzlers. Where did we eat last night? Uh, the fifth quarter. The fifth quarter. They have the best ones, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Take that knife and just cut a slice right off the side. This will give you a nice flat base to work from. Now, take that knife and just cut a V. Now, can you cut a V like that? Come on, girls, can you? Yeah. Sure. Well, if you cut a V like that, then you make the apple bird. That's how hard it is. Because right next to that V, you make another V. It's the same step over and over again. Now, in our book, now I'm just going to make three V's. You can make four, you can make, you can make more, it depends on the apple. You don't have to make a lot of them. You can use a green apple, red apple. But just don't, just make sure someone doesn't pick up these pieces and eat them on you, okay? <coughs> now this is our last V. Take it and just slide it back. Right where these pieces came out, put them back in, just shift it down a bit. The secret to the apple bird, the moisture from the apple holds everything together. It really isn't as delicate as it appears. The apples come in different colors. Say so you have red apples, yellow apples, green apples. These are always nice to use on cheese platters, cucumber trays. Now I showed you how to make the body in the wings. The piece that we cut off right in the beginning, cut a slice right out of the center. Cut a V in the front. Leave some meat up top and just follow the contour all the way around. For an eye, I like to use a peppercorn, a clove, or even a seed from the apple. Take a toothpick, place it right in the front, slide that down, and there's the apple bird. Now, the same thing, you want to give it some height. So use that potato for a base. Whoop. We'll put some greens on top, a couple toothpicks. Put that bird in a dive bomb position. And when you make garnishes like that, not only will you get compliments, but it will be a conversation. <laughs> now, now look. This is our little silly goose. Take a slice off of the bottom. And we're not going to throw that slice away either. We're going to use that. Take a piece off of the front. Now, take that carrot. And we're going to make his beak. Okay. 
I, when I see these in the stores, nice, nice crooked ones, boy, I go nuts. <laughs> Put a toothpick in. Now, I use a pair of cutters, and I have a little pair, uh, pair of uh, long nose pliers I always use for the toothpicks. It works real well. You can open up his mouth a little bit. Let's just put something in there to keep it open. Now, a couple cloves. These are his eyes. Now, you need some wings, right? The wings come right off of the side. And we'll cut some feathers on them. Looks easier than I do, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And there's a silly goose. <laughs> now you can take the same, you can take that same squash. <clears throat> take a slice off the bottom. Uh. Right? You got a little whale. And this will be his tail. You know, a lot of his ideas, just need the ideas. Most of the things aren't hard to do. And it's amazing that sometimes the easiest ones get the biggest compliments. Okay? Now he does need some eyes. So I like to use this tool. To take the pieces out for the eyes. And use that, that carrot because it'll be the same size. Just trim this off. Onions. If it's a strong onion, it's a strong onion. But whenever you cut onions, leave the root end intact. Okay? For some reason or other, it doesn't have as much of an aroma. Smell. <laughs> a couple toothpicks right on the bottom. Now when you put these toothpicks in, that's where I like to use the pliers. It makes it a lot easier. A potato for a base. And this will just open up. See, right where it had the double growth, it doesn't want to open up. Now, we're going to color this onion. This is some food coloring. Okay, cake coloring I like to use. It comes out a lot stronger. Take it, just place it right inside. Now, it'll suck it right up. But just make sure you have plenty of ta paper towels. The yellow, the orange, and the red come out the brightest. At home, I have uh, one of these big glass uh, uh, lead crystal bowls. It was a gift. It was, it's beautiful. And I'll like fill it up, and I'll make onions. I'll make like two yellows, two reds, two uh, uh, oranges or so. I'll make a uh, one with a red one, and put them out, and they really look, you know, it looks dynamic. Okay, and it'll open up. It'll all open up. We'll put him next, right here. Say, this is starting to... That was, that was a cold onion, the red one. But as it gets to room temperature, it'll all open up. You know, before I make that melon, on the front cover of our book, this is our South Sea Island scene, okay? And there he is, Jaws number three, the shark.